when you have a special ability, you don't realize it because you think everybody else has the same gift that you have, so you don't realize it. When I used to sing at such a young age, people were so inspired by my singing, and they loved it, and I didn't realize why they were clapping or crying or, or starting to scream. I really, truly, truly didn't. Just later on in life when people would come to me and say, you know, do you realize you have a special gift or you have a special talent? And I just remember from my mother who's very religious, always telling us to always thank God, thank Jehovah God for your talent, your ability. You know, it's not from, it's not our doing, it's from above. Always thank God, thank Jehovah God, Jehovah God, Jehovah God. It's not our doing, it's from above. She was always there with the Bible, teaching us. We'd go to, you know, service all the time, like four times a week. Service all the time, like four times a week. There was no rest for my professional lifestyle. But on Sundays, I would go pioneering, the term used for the missionary work that Jehovah Witnesses do. Since I was already a celebrity, I would have to put on a disguise, a fat suit, a wig, a beard, and glasses, and we would spend the day in the suburbs of Southern California, going door to door or making the rounds of shopping malls, distributing our watchtower magazines. I'm so glad we did that because um, those values are very important. I don't know if I, I could have done as well without them. We don't celebrate birthdays. We don't celebrate birthdays. Because I, I don't celebrate Christmas. I will never stop helping and loving people the way Jesus said to. He said, continue to love, always love. Bring on the children, imitate the children. Not childish, but childlike. Caring and reading the Bible, learning about God, Jesus, love. Jesus said, bring on the children, imitate children, you know, be like little children and uh, to take care of others, to take care of old people. And we were raised with those values. Those are very important values in my family and I. We were raised with those values and they continue strong in us today. Now, who, who, did, who does Michael Jackson pray to? Does he pray to Jesus, Jehovah? I, I knew he was a Jehovah's Witness before. He's a traditional Christian, he's a Jehovah's Witness. sensitive to their pain and I'm very sensitive to the family, the, con the human condition, you know, on that subject. It means a lot to me and I want to help do whatever I can. think, oh, this is silly to have the llamas and the little choo-choo no. train it's, and the rods. It's, it's calling God silly if you do that. Tell me. Because God made all things great and small. When other men have their Ferraris or they have their little, if it's an airplane or a helicopter or whatever they find, wherever they find their bliss. And uh, my bliss is giving and sharing and having simple, innocent fun. And there are 
are so many children in the cities who've never seen mountains, who haven't been on a carousel, who haven't petted a horse or a llama, we've never seen them. So when I, if I can open my gates, and those gates open, and that bliss, explosion of screaming and laughter from the children, and they run past the breeze, they run on the rides, I say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you.